Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and this is a call to action for I guess it's the FBI, the Secret Service in the United States. Some years ago I noticed online on the CIA fact book descriptions of various countries in the world and recommendations for United States tourists regarding the perils involved in travel to those countries. The, um, there was like a rating scale uh, uh, regarding perilousness in travel to foreign countries. I don't know if that's still there on the CIA fact book online today, but it was a wonderful service for tourists, I feel. And um, I had a notion regarding the FBI and a similar service for United States tourists. Um, it seems to me, from McClare's perspective, that there may be a few towns in the United States, or possibly counties, where, um, where the rule of law and order is not what a tourist might anticipate. Um, and if there are such towns, it might be helpful to have a trustworthy list of, of places to avoid or of uh, um, activities to avoid in those places here in the United States. And who better to do that than the FBI? Um, just as background, it seems to me that, that there are towns here in the United States and elsewhere in the world the, for which the local populace, the local ethos, you might say, is such that um, law-abidingness is less valued, especially with regard to uh, local people's actions towards people who are just passing through, then it might, then might be the case in other towns and locales. Um, sometimes the people in a place are used to things just the way they are. They may never have traveled to other towns. Uh, they m may not know about um, the standards of law-abidingness that are held to in even counties in the next state. Um, so for whatever reason, it's not as safe to be there if you're a stranger as it would otherwise be. For whatever reason, whether because of um, uh, the, the low level of the economy there, because it's hard to get by there, um, because perhaps there's a tradition of, of elevating non-law-abidingness in that locale that's held to by everyone in the town, whatever the reason, um, it may be impossible at this time and in this space for the people in that locale to, to change. I feel that a slowdown in the income stream from tourists to these locales would be very telling. It would be more of an argument to the local people to make that change to a more conventional law enforcement um, agenda than anything else. Money talks. And so I feel that an FBI uh, list along the, advising tourists along these lines would have short-term and long-term benefits. Short-term benefits in terms of safety for tourists and long-term benefits in terms of greater uniformity in, in um, enforcement of law codes accepted in most of the United States. Well, that's it for tonight. God bless you all. And may your travels through these great United States be all that you hoped they might be.